Your chart of accounts is a logical place to start when you import your information. Getting the accounts right for your business will set you up for success. There's the option to customize Xero's default chart of accounts or import your own based on your previous accounting system. To modify Xero's chart of accounts to suit your business, under Track Where Your Money Is Going, click Set Up Now and Review Categories for Transactions. Review the accounts in each tab. Decide what to keep, what to add, and what to change. To edit an account, click the account name to change the details. If you don't need an account, click the X to remove it. If you want to add an account, click Add an account in the correct tab. Enter a name, a unique account code of your choice, an account type, and a tax rate. Then click Add. Once you're happy with the accounts, click Done. See your accounts again by clicking Accounting, Advanced, and Chart of Accounts. If you want to make further changes, you can add, edit, and delete accounts from this screen at any time. You can't delete accounts that you've used in transactions or that have a balance, but you can archive them. Accounts that contain the lock symbol are system accounts and other accounts that Xero uses for specific purposes. For example, accounts receivable and payable. You can edit some components of these accounts, but you can't delete or archive them. If you want to make significant changes like adding or editing multiple accounts, use the import feature to update your chart of accounts in one go. To import your own custom chart of accounts, you'll need a blank Xero template to begin. To find the template, click Import and download the template file. When you open the Xero template, you'll see the rows of accounts that make up the default chart of accounts. Notice that Xero's chart of accounts has a flat structure, without headers, subaccounts, or other hierarchy. Instead, Xero's flexible reporting allows you to customize your report layouts to compare different areas of your organization. Before you start, it's important to understand how the template works when you import it into Xero. You can see the default accounts as an example. The columns with an asterisk are required fields, which means it's mandatory to have a value in every row. Use the chart of accounts information you exported from your previous accounting software to complete the Xero chart of accounts template. Your exported file is likely to need formatting before it's ready to go into the Xero template. When this is done, paste your accounts into the template. The account code and name are unique values which label your accounts to find them when you're working in Xero. You might have a system of names and codes that you'd like to continue to use in Xero. Account types control each account's function and determine where it appears on a report. Choose from a list of Xero's account types. It's very important that the spelling is correct. Search Chat of Accounts in Xero Central to find the list. Add a tax rate for each account. The tax rate you enter here must exist in your organization and should match exactly as shown in the tax rate screen. Find a list of rates for your region on Xero Central, or set up your own custom rates in Xero before you import them. The other fields aren't essential, so it's up to you whether you enter a value in each row. You can find out more about what these fields are for on Xero Central. Assign a starting balance for each account. This is the balance immediately before the conversion date. You can add balances during the import, or later in conversion balances. If you don't already have balances in the chart of accounts you exported, you can find them in the trial balance report in your old accounting system. It's very important to get the timing right for balances, so they're the exact starting point for the account. Take the time to make sure it's correct, but remember you can edit individual accounts after you've imported them. Here are some tips when editing the template. Delete bank accounts. It's best to add these later in Xero to ensure the details are correct for a bank feed. At the beginning of the video we discussed system accounts. These remain in the chart of accounts regardless of importing, so check you don't have any duplicates in your template. Use the Xero accounts receivable and accounts payable system accounts and delete your own from the template. It's easiest to add balances for these accounts in a later step when you add outstanding invoices and bills to Xero. If you want to keep an account already in Xero and not make any changes, keep it in the import file. Save your chart of accounts as a CSV file. To finish importing, select Xero and select if you've included balances in your file. If you've included balances, set the conversion date. Upload the file and click Import. 
Review the summary and note any changes that Xero will make. Click Confirm when you're ready to import the template. Now, you'll see your new accounts ready to use. If you included balances in your template, go to Conversion Balances in Advanced Accounting. You'll see the imported balances. Click Save to confirm them. Xero notifies you when you've successfully saved your balances. 